Hi everyone. Let's have a look at experimenting with an image to create a pseudo 3D type of effect using PowerDirector 9. This technique requires using a photo editing program to modify and clone various elements in a photo and then isolating these elements on a transparent background using a photo editing application. This tutorial will mainly focus on how to manipulate these modified elements using PowerDirector. For detailed instructions on cloning and creating transparent backgrounds in your preferred photo editor, see your application's help files and the various photo editing program tutorials available on YouTube, including the see-through tutorial available here on the PD Toots channel. So let's get started. To create a 3D type of effect for this particular image, we'll isolate three separate elements, the foreground, the midfield, and the background. But we need to also expand each of the isolated elements to allow for movement. This is done by using the cloning and copying tools found in a variety of different photo editing programs. To do this, open your image in a photo editing program like Photoshop or any of the free programs like Paint.net or Sumo, or whatever other program you prefer. Now use the program's clone tool to expand the boundaries of the background element. Then repeat the cloning process with the midfield and foreground elements. Once you've completed modifying these two elements, then isolate them on a transparent background and save them as a PNG image file. Now that we've isolated our elements, we can now import them into PowerDirector 9. Place the background element in track number 1, the midfield element in track number 2, and the foreground element in track number 3. You now have two options to create the movement necessary to simulate a 3D type of effect. PIP motion or magic motion. For this demonstration, we'll use magic motion. Choose the user-defined motion template. At the first keyframe, size and place your crop to about here. At the second keyframe, Place and crop to approximately here. You now have a magic motion path that looks something like this. Now repeat the procedure with the midfield and foreground elements. The one drawback to using PowerDirector 9's magic motion to apply this 3D technique is that even though our image is a transparent PNG, the underlying images are not visible in the magic motion window which means that setting and readjusting a motion path is done on a black background and requires some switching back and forth to the main preview screen to monitor your progress. The other option is to use PIP motion to give the individual image elements a motion path. For instructions on how to create a motion path in PIP Designer, see the keyframes and PIP motion tutorial available here on the PD Toots channel. To achieve a greater sense of perspective and depth of field, you can also add the blur effect found in the effects room to cause the elements and fields to come in and out of focus. The technique is a bit labor intensive and does require numerous adjustments to fine tune the elements, but it is a viable option and a way to breathe a little extra life into selected images and add a little, well, nice touch to your productions.